I'm Brian Kane. I'm an industrial designer by training, and I have a studio here in San Francisco where the way I create products is to build prototypes or build models and to, you know, get my hands on it. I still design with a pencil. I still design full scale. I still design at a drawing board. It's still, for me, part of the art, part of the creative process. We then take those drawings and have them put onto a computer, and then we go into 3D animation. And When I'm drawing full scale and drawing the various views, I can really get a 3D picture of how things are relating. And, and I get pretty close, I'd say, pretty close. When we put it on the computer screen, it just kind of confirms it in many ways. Where I'm always surprised is when we go to full-scale models. All of a sudden, the thing is too small. You know, something that you really can't tell on a computer screen because there's zero scale. And what I thought I had beat when I was drawing on my drawing board, because that is full-scale. That's why I'm really committed to doing a full-scale prototype of everything that I do. You're given a design brief, and if it's to work with a factory that only knows how to make widgets, and they make wood widgets, then you go into that factory and you try to understand why and how they make the best widgets and then you design the product that's got something really new about it but it's still using their technology. Materials have always played a really strong part in my designs um, and it really started in my younger days with a chair I did called the rubber chair where uh, this salesman came in to my office with this little piece of tubing, rubber tubing, and he said, this is what they're using on, on uh, racing handlebars on motorbikes and on bicycles and on fishing rod handles. And he said, maybe why don't you think about designing a piece of furniture using this? So being given this, this piece of material was a real opportunity for me to create uh, a, a chair, which I did, the rubber chair. And it was an opportunity to use a new material in a new way. And today, I think, a lot of new materials are coming up out of the whole green initiative. Uh, they give you a new palette. I did a chair a couple of years ago called the PET chair, uh, PET chair, and that was uh, made out of recycled water bottles. The one compromise that I will never make is in regards to comfort. And if it, you're going to create a chair and it's not comfortable, what's the point? Seating is not going to change very much. People are always going to sit in the same basic position that they sit in, but the way they interact with technology is going to change how they sit. It's technology that's changing the workplace. It's technology that's changing the way people sit. It's technology that's changing the way people hang out at an airport or sit in a lounge area because now they're always doing something else. I, I love Impressionists, Monet particularly, I, he's, he's my hero. I just am really in awe of how he can create a painting and with the simplest of strokes create an impression or, or an emotion. And I, I think in furniture design, I'm, I try to do that same thing. I think in furniture design, you try to take the most simple approach and the most simple use of materials and try to create an emotion. For me, it's big sculpture. It's big sculpture that you sit in. It's big sculpture that you have to use, and it's, it's viewed from all sides. Design <laughs> is sculpture for me. I don't see any, any, any difference between art and design. Good furniture. Um, like anything, if it's classically designed, if it's got the right elements to it, it's going to be around forever. I mean, look at an Eames chair. Look at a Nelson bench. I mean, those products are hard to beat. You know, to think that I've designed uh, over m my lifetime a lot of different seating solutions. And a lot of them are still in production today, which I'm very proud of. And I think it's because I have stuck more to uh, classic design, not following the trends, not following, you know, the fashion of the moment. 
but really trying to build in uh, really worthwhile design elements into all my product solutions.